What's going on guys? Craig Mac RC. This is introducing the new Craig Mac RC raceway. Originally made this for like the Mojave Grom by Arma. But right now I have the new practice slash. I'm thinking about what I want to name it. I like the green. It has a big old body. I'm gonna name it the Ninja Turtle. So I'm out here at the Grom track with the Ninja Turtle. And uh we're gonna give it a nice little test. So this is how the track works. So I'm probably gonna do a starting line either right here somewhere, or maybe over here on this long straightaway somewhere. So then it goes around the tree, over the first jump. So now this is like figure eight style guys. So there will be cars coming through here. So jump up the berm, over the next jump, down here, around this corner, the full straightaway and then back and around again. So we're gonna see how a 10 scale car does on here. Cause I've already, I've had this track built for probably two weeks now and I've already ran the Mojave Grom. That's gonna be another video. I don't know if I'm gonna drop that first or this one first, but I ran the Mojave Grom around here a lot and it's like perfect for those size trucks. But I wanna see how the Ninja Turtle gets around the track. Two wheel drive slash, just normal brush two wheel drive slash see if it's actually controllable or if it's going to be a little bit too big first time trying it I mean it definitely now the track is nice and wet guys or not wet but we've had a decent amount of rain so the track is not dry and slippery at all so it seems like we're getting a decent amount of grip we're not spinning out too much I mean, the track's very small, so it ain't gonna be a high speed track. But you can definitely get some laps in here with a 10 scale car. There we go, it's a little brake action. I'm not gonna lie, guys, this is actually pretty fun with a 10 scale. Might have to build like a 10 scale version of this track in somewhere else back here in the woods. I'm gonna drive it on the bigger track too. This is a two wheel drive car guys, so it is a little bit more difficult as far as keeping it straight when you're going down the straightaways because this doesn't have TSM or anything like that. So this is all driver, which is fun. That's honestly how I like to drive, especially if you're a basher, you know, you don't really run TSM or anything like that. Still get some air. Oh, that was a cool little turn there. A little e-brake action. Must have caught something that brought that rear end around. And I'm sure it'll actually get better the more laps I put in with this. Loosen the track up a little bit. Guys, I don't know, this is pretty quick. I'm almost getting lap times. Well, now that I ran around it a couple times, lap times almost as fast as I was with the Mojave Grom. It makes me wonder what a four wheel drive 10 scale car would do around here. Oh, that was a nice turn. Another decent turn. This one right here is the one I haven't figured out yet. The berm's pretty easy. This one's pretty easy. Oh, a little bit too much drift in that one. This one right here either drives out real far right there. Nah, this is fun though. With this slash, <laughs> two wheel drive. Guys, the Ninja Turtle was putting in some work. Uh oh, I'm getting used to it. Oh, ran out of the track. As soon as I started talking crap.
This will be perfect to get the track ready for the ground. Loosen up all the dirt. One thing I need to add to this place is a bug light back here, guys. I am getting tore up by mosquitoes. It's totally worth it, though. Oh, guys. Getting slick with it. Yeah, I can't take that turn the same every time. Ooh, a little squirrely. Because I almost want to gas it and try to drift around that corner, but it doesn't want to drift. It's pushing out. Got an audience now. Paisley and Grandma I'm watching. I'm stuck, help me Pays. What do you got, girl? You got a big butterfly? Look, I'm gonna put it on video, I'm making a video. What do you got in there? Oh, that's a big monarch butterfly. <laughs> So cool. You're going to put it in the cage? Hey guys, it's pretty fun. Oh, getting squirrely. I'd like to actually take a couple serious laps with this and then come back here with the Mojave Grom and actually see the difference and see if one's a little faster than the other. Because to be honest, I feel like I'm going around this just as fast with this as I was the Grom. The Grom's a lot smaller, so you're able to open it up on the bigger track. Yeah, see, that's how I want to take that corner. Starting to loosen up a little more. How awesome is that? Starting to put down some quick lap times. Oh, skirt, good turn. Oh, I went a little bit too fast, getting excited. Yeah, definitely take a little bit to get used to the two wheel drive because I've ran four wheel drive cars always, to be honest with you guys. I've never owned a two wheel drive like Slash or anything like that. Always had four wheel drive, Rustler, four wheel drive, Slash. Four-wheel drive XRT, four-wheel drive Pulse. So the feel of the two-wheel drive is definitely a little different, especially in the dirt. I'm sure like once you're racing on carpet or something like that, you'll still get normal grip. It'll kind of feel the same as four-wheel drive, but I could be wrong. It's 
definitely harder to control. But it's fun though. I like the challenge. That was a good turn. Oh, first mess up. All right, guys, you get the point. Ninja Turtle rocked it out. I'm gonna get some more practice on this. Maybe do another video or two. Craig Mac RC out.